Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach simple copy shop pos using Laravel. In our last class we saw the simple ice cream shop pos using Laravel. Uh, those who are not watched that video, I have put into my video description. You must watch it, watch that one. Uh, now let me continue this tutorial. Okay. So here, this is a simple dashboard, right? So first you have to see here. Uh, these are the items in uh, available our shop. Now I am going to order the item fries. Yeah, order two. This fries one. So get T one. Apple juice two. Right? These are the items. Right? These are the items. These are drinks item. Right? So when you go to the shop, you have a uh, various type of items and drinks items are there. So here we click add button this all the items are added into the table right here this is the totals uh, display over here right now if you want to delete the particular item here you will be able to delete that uh, total will be reduced right very simple system after done the sales click reset all the items should be reset it okay this is this is the stuff it will be done okay here it all the stuff will be the uh, reset right now let me see how to do, do the system step by step so let me go to the here go to the run here type cmd now i am going to install the project so here first i am going to go to here now i am going to in now, now i am in the c drive i am going to go to f drive f drive here i am going to create the project inside the xam folder right so this is a folder I am going to create the project, right? XAM folder. You can see a XAM folder. I am going to create the project inside the XAM folder here, right? Inside the XAM folder, HDoc. Here I am going to uh, create the project, right? Very simple stuff. So how to create the project in DOS? Very simple stuff. CD means change directory. Uh, you have to access this folder, XAM. So at XAM, press enter key. After this, inside the XAM folder, we have to go to the HDocs. So CD docs docs right here i am going to install the level okay so how to install you must install the composer in your machine okay that's very simple stuff if you don't know how to install the composer you just uh, watch the tutorial on youtube there are many tutorials are there so here i'm going to uh, create the project so you have to write inside the hdoc i'm going to in this folder i'm going to create the project that's how we have done okay F drive inside the F drive we have a folder called XAM. Inside the folder we have a folder called HDocs. Right here first we have what I will do is here. In order to create the project composer, right? Create this is the command you have to use to create the project. Right? Here, iPhone project. Here we have to write get here, here blank. Here we have to dash two dash FIFA FIFA. So write keyword FIFA. This is all the three different keywords. Okay, FIFA. You have to write D I S T. Here we have to write Laravel. Laravel slash Laravel. Here you have to specify the name of the project. Right. I am going to name the project as Coffee Pos. Coffee Pos. This is the name. I am going to specify the name of the Folder. This is a for this is a project name of a coffee shop, right? These are the simple command which you use to create the project. This is the this all the command you don't change it. It won't work. This is the only thing you have you have to give your project folder name. This is a folder name which is a coffee shop, right? You can give any name. Present key. You have to wait some time to create this project, right? Now your project has been installed successfully. Now let me see. Go to the issue docs. Uh, let me see. Uh, check the today date. Coffee shop boss. This is the project, right? Now this project, I am going to open it in the uh, our project, right? So I am going to go to my VS Code, right? If you are not installed VS Code in your machine, you must install it. It's very easy way to. Uh, uh, write the code in Laravel, right? Very easy stuff to manage the Laravel project in VS Code, right? If you like, you will be able to write the code in PHP Storm. Uh, if you like, you will be installed PHP Storm as well. 
that also good right good, good editor so here i am going to open for file open folder where you install your project here coffee shop first right uh, select the folder all right here all the project will be coming here right now your project has been this is the your projects right very simple now what i am going to let me test that the laravel is whether it's working or not terminal new terminal here you have to type the comma right which is your right here php artisan press enter key right your server is running successfully you will be able to get it here you okay you just copy this one control c to copy control v to paste over here press enter key here your laravel is working successfully now let's do the remaining stuff right now here first what i'm going to do is here first this is your folder task structure first we have to create the view folder right this view okay first go to the route sorry not route uh, here we have resources inside the resources you can see here views folder you have to expand the views folder here default welcome blade.php this is the default page okay these contents are there now i'm going to create the another page which is a index page so here right click new file index dot blade dot php okay you have to type whatever page you have created you have to write blade okay here because the blade is this is the this of the uh, laravel should work right here the in the welcome page they, they 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 just shown you have to create the file look like this okay that's why they will show the demo welcome.blade.php the same thing you have to create here whatever page you can create here index or about us or whatever page but dot blade this one should be important dot php okay right okay this is a blade blank page i have created okay now what i am going to do is here the simple code this is a design control c copy i have paste it over here right this all the design i have already taught in my code php okay the same exercise so i have a, i have convert into my laravel project right now what is all the all our core project are convert into La laravel for very easy stuff to manage the project okay we can save the time if you done the project uh, rather than doing core php laravel is very easy to manage the very simple these are the, all the bootstrap files i am getting from the go to the relevant bootstrap website you can find the find their css and js file as well uh, you have to go to the respective website get started this is the css file just copy and js file copy it you have to paste it into here right this is the four okay, these are things we have to paste it after that we have to create the adding new here we have to create a simple adding coffee shop post after that you have to create the uh, div class here we have make the simple design this all design i have explained step by step in my core php this is very simple form design how to design this form uh, i have attached my the video in my de video description you just go to that video and you can study the basic design of that one uh, in this course i am going to convert i have con how to convert into laravel only i have to teach right this is a simple design this is all the jquery okay this is the this validation i have done by that jquery right here okay uh, when the per person uh, click the input mean this this box this check box right so input box okay this uh, input type check box it will be here i am going to here input uh, name post if you checked whatever you can check it will be here this one i have created two variables and here to, if you check this one it will be uh, this one fry this is the price right here i have created the simple code here okay this is all the code i have explained in my core right i attach, attach the video in my video description you will be able to see okay okay now let me save all now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to go to the apps folder here i'm going to have inside the app folder we have a control default controls are there now i'm going to create the new controller so how to create the new controller here is again go to the terminal on the terminal 
to create the terminal uh, create the controller we have to type this php artisan php artisan make you have to write make colon you have to write the controller name controller okay you have created the new controller what is the controller name you have to type here i am going to type the name of the controller coffee coffee shop controller coffee shop controller right, right? coffee shop controller this is a name press enter key your controller has been created here your controller has been you can find the controller in the app folder inside the app folder there is a file called http inside the http you can find the coffee shop control right in this controller double click here you have to write the code to create the view okay when you call the control and it return back to the view index right very simple one you have to put it okay now already i have written this view same thing control c to copy you have to put it here right this is a simple view okay very simple view over here okay here right very simple okay view the index we have write public function index return view which we have to return index view index view mean this is index view okay this is the thing we have to write now this page if you are run the project this page won't show here yeah? if you are run the page you have to check which page you are shown php artisan 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 Control C to copy the same thing. Control V to paste here. It won't show. What you have done here is you have to go to the route folder and set it the relevant file. This is a route folder. Inside the route folder, there are web.php. Here you have set it here is you no need to change anything else. Only one page we are calling and work. It just give here the name is index. That's the only thing we have to write. Only the thing we have to make it as index. Save all. Now let's back here. Here it's working perfectly. This is this this is the this is the simple design you have to make. Now you can check here. One, this one I have to buy two, this one three, this one we don't need only three things here. This one coffee, orange juice one. What? Like that button. It's all are working fine. You can see here. This is the design, right? If you click this one, it here. Okay, this is a thing. I have uh, done this post without connecting the database. Very simple design. You have to learn before connecting the database. This is very essential program. This all code I have provided into my website. You will be able to download. Uh, before how to how to do these designs, I have taught in my basic uh, PH video. I, I attached the video tutorial in my video description. Just go through and learn it. Uh, coffee shop post, right? Thank you for watching. If you click reset, it all the page page should be reset very simple code right thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching